So here's the part one of that IXL project. You need to begin with a new document, blank document, and look over these directions. Um, it just says that we want to have, that's the wrong number, it should be six. Um, can think of it as an IXL assignment. You've probably done hundreds of these in math class. But we've got a design code and tested program that will meet or exceed the following. It says here you need to set up a multiple choice question, questions, uh, in which you have a minimum of at least four questions, each with four possible answers. So I'm, I'm going to kind of bet that in your IXL assignments, there's like 30 or 40 assignments, or 30 or 40 questions per assignment. And each question you get has four answers. So it kind of makes sense. If you're going to build at least four questions, each with four answers. All right? Uh, two says each question is to be asked by a different actor. So this means that we're going to have to have the actor switch costumes. Okay, you've switched from cow to a pig. You switch from the Valentines to a boy to a girl, so that part's pretty easy to do. So switch costumes. Each question, different actor, different costume. Um, three, topic of the question must be school appropriate. Anything school related counts, so not just for math questions. And then four says test your program. So I'll kind of get it set up for us here, then we'll start in a little bit here too. Um, scroll down your page. Here's some code blocks you're going to be using. We want to repeat our question again and again and again and again until you get the answer correct. So I'm going to have to be plugging some blocks in. That's more of a, of a next to next time topic. Here's where I ask the question. I'm going to ask a question and give them four choices. You see one, they can add a second choice, a third choice, and a fourth choice. This is also more of a next time topic, part two. This is how it's going to be graded. So if the answer is correct, it'll say congratulations or some kind of a you did it saying. Else, try again. So I'll get this here started. Let you work on it a little bit on your own. All right. Here's my actor. I need to have my actor ask a question. So I'm going to find that ask code block. It's not in your little list of things here. Can I search for it? I gotta search for it. I must see it. So ask. There it is. I have two options. Ask or ask with choices. I want with choices. Okay. Um, so I might have mine say, um, what color? Is the lunch room floor okay? Let me just shrink this down. Let me see where I shrink it down. So the choices. I'm gonna say is the lunch room floor blue? Push a plus sign. Get a new box. I'm gonna say red. I'm kind of running out of room here. Okay, let's scoot over a little bit more. Can I? Oh, I can't. Add another one over white. And add my fourth choice. There it is. Green. Okay. So now I'll go full screen mode and push play. There it is. What color is the lunchroom floor? I have red, blue, white, or green. You click on the wrong answer, blue, what happens? Nothing. Stop it, play it again. How about it's white? The correct answer. What happens? Nothing. Why? It's because I have my code block set up that grade this project. So this here's all a part of the grading process. So I'm gonna do it for today. Let's build my four questions and my actor transitions. So I need to have my actor, here he is. I need to add some costumes. Add costumes. I'll pick this one here, call that one. And I have two. Add a costume. Pick 
this guy. And then I'll add another costume. I have four. Alright. So I want to begin mine. Begin with boy six. Then go to kid number one. Then boy three. Then the artistic girl. So I need to have my actor begin with the costume on start switch to costume boy six he asked the question I'm gonna bring in I'm gonna plug it in for now he wants the wrong spot I'll move it later please get set up now he's gonna switch to kid number one I'm gonna just copy and paste this plug it in get a new question written here with new answers. Okay, there's two questions. Now switch costumes again. Right? To my third actor. Bring in my third question. And then to my final, my fourth actor my fourth question. Let's try it once. Full screen mode. Push play. So I'll say white. Great. Here he says nothing. No answers. I'll pick one. The third one. Fourth one. So that part works. Okay. Um, on your own, I'd say play with someone here. This is going to be one, it's going to repeat the question until the answer equals the correct answer. So what I would do, my first one, is I would type in the word white right here. I'd plug my answer, the word answer, in here. So answer equals white. Plug this whole combo into here. So I'm repeating what's ever inside this until the answer is correct. So where does this guy here go? Right inside here. So be on start, switch to costume, this whole repeat business here. Repeating what? Repeating this. This plugs in. Okay. Now, here's my grading part right down here. So I'd say if the answer is correct, then I'm going to use a say block and have them say congratulations or say wonderful, some kind of funny IXL thing. If it's not right, they'll say try again. Now what happens? This will repeat. So you have this plugged inside plus this plugged inside. Okay? This will show you next time. If you're on your own, if you can figure it out, perfect. Go for it. Um, any questions? We'll ask throughout the class hour. Good luck.